Welcome to Good Mythical More. In the uh, preceding moment of the main episode, I presumed that the couple in the wheel video were related either as uh, romantically or as siblings. And um, as I've already proven, I don't know how to tell which is which sometimes when you're standing apart. So don't be offended by that. Um, are you, who, are you, who, who are you telling? Not to be offended. Them. Okay, what if they didn't watch? What if they didn't watch through because they were offended by what you said? Yeah, I'm, tell them I'm sorry. Okay. Um, what are we doing here in the more? Oh, we're going to be guessing the most popular cheese in different states of the United States. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be really fun. All right, we'll give you what you came for. But before, I'm gonna ask you to tell me the definition of the word bardolatry. Bardolatry, is this when you fall in love with a bard? A bar. A no, bar, a no, bar. A bard, like someone who travels around singing in order to perpetuate myths. Well, a bard, I think it was just somebody who, who sang, it was like a, like like a medieval, news of the day. A medieval singer. That's Sorry. exactly what I'm saying. What uh, are you doing? You, but you said to perpetuate myth. I'm doing another shout wipe because I found another spot of French onion soup on my shirt. My uh, experience with shout wipes is that they're a little too big. Like I never. Yeah, I could have used the old one, but I threw it away. Yeah, like a shout wipe, I think needs to be half as big as it is. So when you worship someone who travels and sings songs about Things. I think it's when you can only only feel like you can only have a good time at one particular bar. You are suffering from bardolatry. It is the worship, particularly when considered excessive, of William Shakespeare. Oh, okay. So I win this one. I was closer. Okay, Stevie, give us a give us our prompt. You want you want to talk cheese in the United States of America? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because you know what, a lot of people don't know this. We have more than just American cheese here. Well, the first question is, in what state is American cheese? The most popular now, cheese. Now, you might think that that's basic, but like a single, like a craft single, that is that considered American cheese? Because I've heard that, it's yeah. said that it's not cheese at all. It's a cheese product. Well, I don't think and, it and Josh and Nicole, I believe, have touched on this uh, multiple times on The Mythical Kitchen and, and Hot Dog is a Sandwich. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe they give their, you know, they, they give enough of a spotlight to the, the place that American cheese well, has. There is a cheese, and American I'm sure cheese. they could say this much more eloquently than I'm going to say, but there's like a series of mm. parameters that you have to meet in order to be considered actual cheese. And American cheese doesn't actually do that, so it's just called cheese product by the USDA. Yeah, but it's, most, it's the most popular form of cheese or cheese product in a state. I'm guessing that it's a southern state, just mm. because mm -hmm. growing up in both Georgia and, well, really growing up in North Carolina, but, but having parents who were from Georgia, and all my friends, like if you had cheese growing up, it was American cheese. Like we didn't have other kinds of cheeses. I don't remember having other kinds of cheese until I was in my double digit years, and usually at other people's homes, or like restaurants or something. So I'm gonna go with Georgia. I'm going to go with Kansas, right in the middle. So I forgot to mention that this is like, it's, it's Google Trends data. So basically it's like- People searching the, cheese. It, yeah, people searching cheese. So people gotta have a propensity to Google things. Yeah. And then Google American cheese. And they gotta be confused about these things they're Googling. I bet it's people who are trying, they're getting in arguments about whether American cheese is cheese. So where does that happen the most? Not I'm Georgia. Gonna, I'm gonna say California. Uh, because that's where we are and we're having the you're, argument. You're, you're, this is a really good point, Link. And because because of that, I think it's Oregon. Well, I, I, you're in the right headspace, but your options are- Washington State. Maine, Tennessee, or Texas? Maine. <sighs> Texas. Maine. <laughs> yeah, they're- Okay. They're, I think the people in Maine are like, can I? Can I put this? American cheese on my lobster, um, because if it's if it's not real cheese, I don't want to do that. No, if it is not real cheese, I do want to do that because you're not supposed to put cheese on seafood if you're like highfalutin. Uh, I don't agree with that, by the way. But I was at a restaurant one time, and I was in Miami, 
and we were, I don't know how it came up, but the waiter told, I, there was some fish dish and I asked if there was cheese on it. And they were like, well, you don't put cheese on fish. That's, who are you? Who are you? I like, I really looked down my nose, their nose at me. You ever heard of a tuna melt buck? Buck buddy. <laughs> okay, this one makes more sense to me. Parmesan. Parmesan. New Jersey. Where'd you get your jacket? H&M. Um, New Jersey. Parmesan. Okay. Or New York. I think this is, yeah. I'm just trying to make it make sense, TV. You're, you're, you are in the right territory, but I didn't want to get, I didn't want to acknowledge that until Link made Thank his Thank you, guess. Stevie. Uh, I'm gonna say New York, New Jersey, <laughs> Connecticut. Okay, you're both like in the right area. New Hampshire, Vermont, <laughs> Massachusetts, Boston, Maryland. Go, go, go down a little. Delaware. Oh, go all the way down? <laughs> go all the way down. Um, Maryland. Mm. Washington, D.C. Uh, Pennsylvania is the answer. Oh, okay. Pennsylvania, Tri- the, the birthplace of America. <laughs> Pennsylvania has Parmesan? The I, home of the Liberty Bell. I don't know. I don't know if that makes as much I, sense. I was kind of... Yeah, I mean, I was thinking more of Philly cheesesteak, which does not have Parmesan any way that you order it, Mm -hmm. so it doesn't completely make sense. But it was close to the areas, I don't know. And let me, okay, let me just say, since you're talking about Philadelphia and we just had cheesesteaks, I think I did talk about this on Ear Biscuits, uh, but on the road trip that Locke and I took from Maine to Miami, just for old time's sake, we went to Pats and Geno's, the two famous... Cheesesteak places Competitors. in Philly. And uh, they're both just really bad. They're, I mean, they're just both really, really bad. Which is what any local will tell you. Yeah, and, and I don't, and when we did it, we tasted them before, we did it in the context of like the Alka-Seltzer, Great American Road Trip, you know, on our first sponsor deals. And, you know, we were thinking about a lot of different things, but when I, I just, I, I remember I filmed Locke eating it and you could kind of see on his face like, this is not good. And actually, Gino's was better than Pat's. We got the Pat's, which is the, actually the original. And every single one that we had today, even the one that was frozen, was better than what you're going to get at Pat's or Gino's. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. That's sorry. Nice. And, I, and you Gino's. know what? The people of Philly agree that there's much better, cho- much better choices. I've. Um, is this appropriate to say I've stopped believing in what we're doing right now? <laughs> what do you because stop believing of, in? Because of the next question what do you stop believing in i just like i'm trying to wrap my head around why you would be searching for cheese and then how we would leap for th- how this site says that it's the most popular oh, it's you're the not, most popularly yeah, you're searched not the data like, is sus in yeah, mythical more i it mean really, and we all know that i mean there was a time where we were really enjoying ourselves and now now look at us well ask us the question because yeah. what we Three. don't know what brought you down Brie is a popular cheese in multiple states. In Texas. which state not is Texas. Brie? Oh, is Brie not a favorite? Okay, fine. I, this is fine. Is, I would believe okay. this. Okay, I would you believe left this. out not. Yeah. Because I, I think it's like, it's popular in places where people don't know what Brie is because they're searching. What's Brie? You would, you would think. Do you remember the first time you had Brie? So the so the the least popular place. Let's talk about that. The answer to your question is going to be a place where we think Brie is popular because no one's searching it because they already. And know what you it would is. think, but yeah. You're, but you're leading us in a different direction. But it's not true. I just got to say, Mexico. I remember the first time I had Brie, and I was just like, "What in the world? Where has this been all my life?" It's mild, right? Well, well I love a Brie. It's mild. I like Brie, and it the way that you the way you have to prepare it with melting it. I like the name Brie, too. And then you're, you're dipping stuff into it, and it's just gooey, and it's just wonderful. Or or you do a room temp, which is more difficult, I've found, because you have to take it out of the fridge, and then you have to leave it for a bit. And you the whole, like, Not too long. leaving I'm, it for a bit is very waiting. difficult. And it'll spread on a cracker. Real good. I think this is Northwest. Well. Well, now I've lost the thread. Okay, let's go back oh, to... Dakota's? Un- unpopular. Unpopular. It, 
Mississippi. Let's, let's forget, Mississippi doesn't like Brie. Let's forget a second about the Google part. Let's, let's just, just talk say, about cheese. We're, let's just say Florida. you had to match a cheese to a place. Okay, yeah, you're on the right path. South so Carolina. What state would you... Yes, South Carolina. You would not match Brie to South Carolina. No. Which is correct. Brie there is not no a There are no cities in South Carolina. Hold on. There are all kinds of like, Brie Like, if you Charleston. look on a map... Have you been to Charleston? It's not a city. What is what it, do you a mean? township? It's just a... It's a it's a place where people have gathered. It's a designated place. Yeah, it's fun fact. There's no cities in South Carolina. Hmm, I don't believe that They're, because they don't have any local government. Charleston is considered the number one vacation spot in all the United spot. States. See, not city. Uh, like ten years in a row by like wine and country. Max if you really like, why food did you make and you're me an Google older that? Person, if you like swings and food, you'll love Hold Charleston. On. You don't believe I, me about Charleston being no, the one? Link, humidity. I Link said it with such conviction. Oh, about there being no about cities. There, yes, and let me tell you why I believed it because my parents recently found out that the city they live in is not a city. Right, technically. Uh -huh. And so I was like, oh, maybe he's right. A lot. Most people, well, a lot of people in South Carolina think that there are cities in their state, but yeah, they're wrong. Technically, they're not. Like, ask to see any mayor. There aren't any. Right. There's no mayors in South Carolina. But you can, what you can do is you, if you live in a, a rural area mm -hmm. uh, and you want to be a mayor, you can say, hey, guys, let's make this a city. Let's make this a town. And I'll, and I'll do all the work if y'all elect me as mayor. You, you can, it's kind of like putting up a street sign on a, on a driveway. Yes. Yes. You can, you can do it, but you don't really have any power. Like, McLaugh Lane is what I would do. I would love to see, you know, sometime from now, a mayor elected to a new city, and then they they point back to this more, and they go, you know, <laughs> not real. <laughs> you know what did it was this moment in the popular cheese in every state more when they let me know I could be a mayor. And see, the the lesson I need you to take from this, Stevie, is that you were you were going to give up on this entirely. Well, and now look at where we are. We are changing oh, the mayoral makeup of South Carolina. I was never going to give up on us. I'm just going to give up on the data and concept of. Were of you ever going to what we done. let us down? I was never going to let you down. Are you were gonna, you ever going to run around? Hey, Stevie. I will never run around. I'll tell you that much. If you and desert us, running around is hard. If you run for mayor someday. Count me in on your campaign. Okay? In what way? Is this a monetary donation? I'll, I'll, do, I'll donate, I'll volunteer, I'll canvas. And when I say canvas, I mean I will paint. <laughs> she, needs <to> do, <laughs> she needs to do something that she hasn't done yet before she can run for mayor. Like be a school teacher or uh, cool. like a, a lawyer. I don't know. You know, there are dogs that are mayors. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna be the one to point that out. I wasn't out. gonna tell you to be a dog. Um. Okay. How about one just more. for fun? String cheese. And what state is string cheese? This is funny. Popular. The most searched. Yeah. What state searches what's the string, string what's the cheese the most? Stringiest state. Why are they searching string cheese? What's the longest narrow estate? We don't have any state like. Chile in our, in, you know what? I would Florida. like, well, this would be a good campaign. We could just get the coast of California and take it and call it something else. It would be like Chile. Just to have a, to have a real stringy state. That would be fun, have the longest narrowest state. Stringy. We could get the coast of California and just take it. <laughs> just take it. Yeah. By here's, force. A, here's a good idea. We're taking about four. Just take a saw like in cartoons. <laughs> no, we're going to be armed with string cheese. Uh, string cheese? The, the string where, where are they searching state? for string cheese? Have you ever searched? The answer makes me laugh for some reason. Um, okay. String cheese in. What state makes her laugh? No, that would be searching for string cheese, I mean. Uh, Oklahoma. Uh, who's, who's, who's funny to be searching for string cheese? What's the funniest state when you just think of it? You just think of what it's called and what it and, what, and how it's shaped. Well, Stevie, what's the dumb? What's the dumbest shaped state? The only thing that Oklahoma Stevie laughs at is balls jokes. And doesn't Oklahoma look like 
Like twig and berries? It looks like a really long, narrow, almost kind of short penis and a really big sack. If you right. Want. But but it really Oklahoma's looks... got the biggest ball sack of them all. <laughs> it Oklahoma's the funniest shaped state. Y'all gotta admit, nobody Come else on, did Steve. that. Nobody else did that little thing. Nobody else did that. We mentioned Ear Biscuits earlier. I just want to go all the way and say, listen to our podcast, Ear Biscuits. Yeah. If you haven't listened to it and you're watching this, it's better than this. Well, I would I'm say just being honest. I would say that this particular episode, if you, Stevie doesn't believe if it. If you're watching this and you don't listen to Ear Biscuits, it feels like you're the kind of person who like watched what are like two franchises that are very similar and you decided to not watch the other one for some reason that's hard to understand. Like Transformers and GoBots. The show. I don't know how good that is, but yeah. It's like you watched uh Breaking, Breaking Bad and then didn't watch Better Call Saul. Is that a good one? Yeah. Is that a pretty good? Yeah. yeah. In yeah. some ways it's better, they say. Some people say it's better. But then if you only watch the, if you watch the behind the scenes for Breaking Bad instead of watching Better Call Saul, that's kind of what this this would be like. My stomach hurts. Yeah, I've eaten way too much cheese. But there's you not a funnier answer. There's no, not a funnier I, shape state. Oklahoma. I'm not talking about the shape of the state. I'm talking about when you think about who Googles string, string cheese, cheese. Florida. The most. Florida is the funniest state. Florida does would not surprise me that they're Googling string oh, cheese. So Rhode Island. <laughs> How why are you frustrated that we can't guess this impossible thing? <laughs> I'm not frustrated. I'm I'm laughing You're even so, though it's not a ball. Don't be joke. frustrated a with Alaska. Us. That's funny. Mm, oh yeah. Your Hawaii. options are Minnesota, U <laughs> Utah, Utah, or Washington. Utah. And it's Utah. Yep. They're just sitting over there climbing Googling boulders. String cheese. Yeah. When they're not soaking, they're googling <laughs> string cheese. On the latest episode of our podcast, Ear Biscuits, we talk about what really happened at Mythicon. Available wherever you get your podcasts.